I can't imagine what they go through on Everest and mountains like that. I mean, for me, this is my Everest, I guess. He's not allowed to stop. And he just stopped. Greg is ahead of me and sometimes well ahead of me. And then he'll stop and he'll heal the grass. Can you call it a moose this morning? Call it a moose. Guaranteed? Guaranteed. And it just goes to show that my uh, calling is somewhat superior to some people. You know, I don't mind saying like, this is the most difficult hunt that I've been on. Well, we started this hunt with Brent and he couldn't be here. It's hard to finishing that, this hunt off without him, but I mean, he'll be so happy for you. Switching gears? Switching gears. What are we switching gears? We're going to moose hunt. Can you call it a moose this morning? I'll call it a moose. Guaranteed? No guarantees. There's no guarantees anymore. I learned that yesterday. There's no guarantees. But you know what? We're gonna call it a moose. Okay, let's guaranteed. Let, let's let's see you call it a moose. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. do you think it's going to take before I see a moose? <laughs> Who knows, there might not be any moose for miles. We're going to have a little bit of fun, I think, and it's our next adventure, right? A uh, little less mountain, a little more moose. We did see some moose earlier out through this area. Well, all you can do is call and hopefully something moves, right? There's, we know that there's moose in the valley, we've seen tracks. Well, we heard a cow call. So there are moose in this valley. I think I got a small bull over here. Serious? Yeah, he's coming straight at us. He just walked up over this snowy little ridge and then he's coming downhill. I'm gonna lose sight of him though. Mm, now. He's like right out there. I think he did okay. <laughs> that was amazing, that, that was crazy, eh? We didn't see him for so long, and then you say, there he is, right there. Standing right down below the hill here. 70 yards away. Yeah, no, he can live to grow another day, that guy. Who knows what else is out here? Yeah, that was good, I enjoyed that. And it just goes to show that my uh, calling is somewhat superior to some people, not to mention anybody. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I got no comment. <laughs> I got to rib him whenever I get an opportunity because uh, he's quite capable of calling my sin as well. I taught him everything I know, so there you go. <laughs> modesty. That's, modesty. That's one thing that's, we really have a lot of modesty. in our family is modesty. Yeah, and you know the other thing I can say is that there's no such word as quit in our vocabulary. If you look up my name in the dictionary, <laughs> quit is not there. I do know that there's sheep in those mountains. Yeah, there's sheep in those mountains, all right. We've seen them, we pursued them, and it just didn't happen. That's the hunting, right? Well, there aren't many people out hunting sheep in the middle of October. I do know that. No. All the outfitters are gone home. Everything's packed up. Yeah. But moose is done, sheep are done. There's only a few of us out here. There might be some guys looking for caribou still. Beautiful morning, still October. Snow is not going away. We can't say that winter's coming anymore, I think. <laughs> I think winter's here, so. So the hunt continues, but there's been a change. Unfortunately, my dad had to go home. Life is the way it is, and unfortunately, he had to fly out to be with family. But we're gonna continue the hunt for Carl. It's a beautiful morning. We're just gonna hit the glass, and now it's your turn. Well, we're kind of looking for everything, right? We were looking for sheep, caribou, and then moose, but obviously wanting to get dad a sheep was priority number one. And that's how it is. We got to just make the best of whatever the mountains offer us when we're out here. You know, maybe a bear comes up, who knows, right? So we got to have eyes for antlers and big brown bodies and everything, you know? And it's that time of year. You know, we're running out of hunting season. Let's find a caribou. Okay. Right up top on this mountain. Or is that the mountain behind? There's like one, two. We've got maybe six or seven animals on the mountain directly behind us here. I think they're cows, but even with the 12 power, you know, I can't quite tell what they are, if there's a bull in there. And then on the next ridge past that, 
We have maybe a dozen or 20 animals up high, right up at the top, and I think there's some bulls in there. I see a bull with good width. Oh yeah, he's a good one, and really good height. That's a good bull, Carl. That's on the far mountain. I haven't looked on the ones closest yet. Like he's wide, he's tall, he's got good bez, good front. It sounds like a good bull. <laughs> yeah, no it is. I can see all their tracks are just down below, they walk down. Great. Let's make a plan. <laughs> we got up onto this ridge and we saw right away lots of tracks and then there's got to be 30 animals in there for sure. And then Greg picked out this awesome bull with beautiful tops. And there's a second bull, at least one more bull that's definitely pretty good. I um, pretty much know which one I'd be going for. But then again, this is your hunt, Carl. You kind of have to make the decision on this. I think that first one is just awesome. 44 in that group. 44 animals, so it's quite a sight. Now we just help. have to figure out how to make a play. Do we go down, back here, and then go up? When you're completely covered in timber the whole way. In my opinion, this is a distant shot yeah. where we get them on an open slope and we can nearly just take our time. Yeah, yeah they're moving right down. The caribou are on the west side of the mountain and our approach is from the east so I think that we're going to expose ourselves but we're a long distance away. I'm not too concerned about it. How about you? No, I mean caribou, like they're feeding hard, they got their heads down and they're not as wary as sheep, you know. If we just move slow and the idea is to get off this side and get into the timber, they do seem to be feeding down the mountain into the, more into the willow. We're going to get down here and if we stay on this side, I think they're gonna walk right down to us. And that way we have a little bit of elevation and then we can pick the right shot, right? Yeah. If we're really in line with them, there's so many animals, it could be difficult to get a clear shot where there's nothing behind him, nothing in front of him, you know? Yeah. But if we're higher than him, if that works at all. Nobody's looking. The lead group is in the willow, in the draw right now. I've seen that second bull, but I haven't seen the really good bull. He's just a little bit to the left, kind of toward the, the middle, to the back of the lowest group. So I think if we can weasel our way down to those trees, that's a pretty good spot to shoot from. That is a great spot. shot. Wait till that cow gets out of his way. No shot. Carl, 7.5. When you're ready. No shot. No shot. Called it off. I can't find him again. Cow moving behind. Okay, you're clear. Down. One shot, down. Oh yeah. That is a fantastic bull. Congratulations. Unreal. 
those cows moving back and forth, you know, it was on, it was off, it was on. My heart rate, I could feel my heart rate going and breathing. Now they're starting to move. Yeah, hurt it up and, and move off. But not him. No, he's not going anywhere. I can't wait to see him up close. Like, he's beautiful, man. Yeah, that came together for us today. Wow, what a spot. What a caribou, man. That's a great <laughs> caribou. <laughs> We'll let these caribou move off now and, and then we'll go take a look at them. 20 some caribou walking across the side of the mountain. Let's go see them, man. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> That's an amazing bull. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks for helping me make it happen. He's awesome. That is a dream caribou right there. Wow. Well, we started this hunt with Brent, and you know, it was it's always so much fun to hunt with him. He's such a great addition to the team, and, and he couldn't be here. But I know when he watches how it went down and, and we tell him the good stories, then, uh, you know, he's gonna be so happy for all of us. It's hard to finishing that, this hunt off without him, but I mean, this is an amazing reward and he'll be so happy for you. Yeah, just sending out best wishes to Brent and, and wish he was here, but. Life is the way it is and unfortunately he had to fly out to be with family. Now, there's no doubt he'd be pretty happy right now. He'd be grabbing a hold of you and giving you the biggest hug. What an amazing hunt and an amazing trophy. And again, congratulations, buddy.